Kristen Stewart has led a very successful career in acting, and it seems like she's in no slowing down anytime soon. She recently earned a star rolling as Princess Diana in the historical film Spencer, and with that, she vaulted to the front of the Best Actress race. Today, we're going to discuss everything you need to know about it. Throughout her career, Kristen Stewart has proven to be one of the best actresses in today's day and age, taking on roles in a variety of genres ranging from dramas such as Personal Shopper and Clouds of Sills Maria to some lighter stuff such as their roles in Happiest Season and Charlie's Angels. While she hasn't won one yet, many believe that her new and very anticipated role as Princess Diana in Spencer could finally be her ticket to the Oscars. In her upcoming movie, As the Royal Lady, Stewart's performance has been praised by critics being called flawless and inspiring. The actress was recently touted for an Academy Award nomination after the trailer for Spencer was released a few weeks back in late August. Along with the official trailer, the first poster for the film featuring Stewart was released not too long ahead of its premiere at the Venice Film Festival. The striking poster displays an image of Stewart in a large white gown, similar to the actual late royal's Daya Galev gown, bent over, seemingly weeping. Although the first footage of the actress's most recent portrayal was only just released, it has already received great reviews. The film has especially received praise from journalists and filmgoers at both the premieres at Venice and Telluride, which recently took place. One film critic, Scott Mazel, who attended CinemaCon, stated that he's confident at Stewart earning an Oscar nod, tweeting the statement, I just saw the teaser trailer for Spencer and a five-minute clip from the film. Based on the footage, it looks like Kristen Stewart will be getting an Oscar nomination for her performance as Diana. I'm feeling very confident that this is going to be Kristen Stewart's big moment. Following that, journalist Jason Garasio also let out a supporting tweet writing, Just saw footage of Spencer. Kristen Stewart is going all out for that Oscar glory and her Princess Di accent is spot on. Hashtag CinemaCon. Spencer was written by Stephen Knight, who's also known for his work with Peaky Blinders. Along with Stewart, the film will feature Jack Farthing as Prince Charles and will also star Timothy Spall, Sean Harris, and Sally Hawkins. When speaking on casting Stewart, last year, Pablo Lorraine, the producer, said that Kristen is, quote, one of the great actors around today, he said. To do this, you need something very important in film, which is mystery. Kristen can be many things and she can be very very mysterious and very fragile and ultimately very strong as well, which is what we need. The combination of those elements made me think of her, Lorraine said, adding, the way she responded to the script and how she's approaching the character, it's very beautiful to see. I think she's going to do something stunning and intriguing at the same time. She's this force of nature, Lorraine concluded. On the topic of casting, Kristen Stewart was arguably perfect for the role as Princess Diana. There's not many other actresses who can hold a close-up like her. As the camera zeroes in, you can truly feel the intensity of in motion, which is why she's perfect for the role of the tortured royal teared down by the prying eyes of the tabloid press. In the film, we first meet Diana speeding down the back roads of Norfolk, England in her Porsche convertible with the top down and her beautiful blonde bob blowing in the wind. Accompanying this is a title card with the statement, A Fable from a True Tragedy. She's late from the Christmas Eve dinner at Sandringham, the royal queen's royal estate. The dinner seems to be quite extravagant as there are lines of British soldiers carrying crates into a huge kitchen. The crates are then opened to reveal an array of different fruits and lobsters. It then cuts to Diana, who gets out of her car and asks, where the heck am I? Spencer takes place in 1990, nine years along Diana's time with her incurious and distant husband, Prince Charles, who seems to have eyes for another. Although Diana is only 29 at the time, it seems as though any past version of her or part of herself has been stipped away. Everything is done for her. Her schedule, her outfits, and her everyday moves are all monitored by the firm. It's as if everything has already happened, she claims, and due to all of the press attention she has received, the Queen tightens the boundaries even more by ordering her a query, played by Timothy Spall, to keep his eyes on her. Essentially, the only aspect of her life that she can still control is her body. So, as a result, she resorts to purging food and even cutting herself. As a matter of fact, the film does a great job at showing how suicidal she really was and includes a scene where she stares at a set of stairs wishing she could throw her body down them. During the film, Diana is also visited by the ghost of Anne and Baldwin, another woman who was crushed by the crown's machinery. She urges Diana to break free of her subjection and take her life into her own hands. Diana's only comfort in these hard times is a royal servant named Maggie, and of course her children, William and Harry, of whom she loves dearly and is very, very protective of. One of the most notably smarter choices Spencer makes is that it puts Charles more in the background. By doing this, it really focuses on Diana's torment and allows for Stewart's acting performances to shine through. Another notable aspect of the film is the 
instrumental music. From jazz drums to plaintive piano to stride strings, it all brings everything together and overall ups the anxiety. However, while there are many amazing characteristics of Spencer, it's really a main showcase for Kristen Stewart's talents. And the actress, who knows a thing or two about tabloid persecution herself, is more than up to the task of tackling this near mythic figure. In fact, she arguably nails everything about Diana, her breathy voice and effect, her inner torment, and even slouch posture. Over the course of the three days that the movie displays, Stewart does an amazing job at presenting the entire span of Diana's doomed quest for freedom and compassion. Not too many actors convey helplessness and vulnerability like Stewart does, who acts out every emotion with every inch of her, from head to toe. But with their past performances like Into the Wild and Wild in Adventureland not earning her an Oscar, her work in Spencer could finally be that moment. On the topic of the Oscars, there are many other contenders in the running, one being the crime drama film The Card Counter. However, many believe that this one could be a tough bet. Theoretically though, if video views counted for Oscar votes, then Oscar Wilde would be the clear winner. In a recent red carpet moment of Isaac, in which he makes eyes at his scenes from a marriage co-star Jessica Chastain and kisses her on her arm, it had fans on Twitter going crazy, with the clip being watched more than 11 million times. On screen, however, Isaac's chances at an Oscar are a bit more uncertain. In The Card Counter, produced by Martin Scorsese, the Star Wars actor plays a soldier turned compelling gambler who is seeking redemption after he tortured prisoners in Iraq. While some are unsure about it being Oscar worthy, the rather unnerving movie has received strong reviews universally. However, if you factor in an already pretty competitive best actor, race, which includes stars such as Will Smith for King Richard, Peter Dinklage for Serrano, and Jamie Dornan for Belfast, Isaac could very well get lost in the big mix. Following the card counter is Dune, which also seems to be a tough bet. The $165 million sci-fi movie produced by Denis Villeneuve was quoted as always going to be a gamble. The film, which was based off Frank Herbert's 1965 influential novel, received some rather disappointing reviews to say the least. Regardless of its great visuals and acting performances, critics such as USA Today's Brian Truitt hit on the film's issues such as its half-baked storytelling and somewhat disappointing ending. With that aside, however, the movie is still expected to be a contender for the technical Oscar cast categories like Best Production Design, Costumes, and Score. Nonetheless though, with its still uncertain performance at the box office, Dune may not have what it takes to be in one of the 10 best picture slots for the Oscars. However, aside from those, it looks as though Netflix could possibly pull off a best picture win. In the past few years, the over-the-top content platform has made some great movies, which includes ones such as Mank, Roma, and The Irishman. Regardless of some of its hit films though, however, the Oscars have always seemed to elude the streaming platform, who's not to mention biggest awards have been won by Alfonso Caran for Best Director for Roma and Supporting Actress, won by Laura Dern for Marriage Story. Although that could possibly change this year, as there were numerous new movies that received some good reviews from critics at Venice and Telluride. These include Paolo Sorrentino's Italian coming-of-age film The Hand of God, Jane Campion's Western The Power of the Dog, and Maggie Gyllenhaal's Arresting the Lost Daughter. Along with these, the latter is another great contender with the combination of star performances from from Benedict Cumberbatch, Cody Smith-McPhee, and Kirsten Dunst. With that said, that's going to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching.